Hey guys, welcome back to Cinema 4D Tutorials. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn how to build a 3D model with the help of a primitive objects. Now, if you haven't seen the tutorial on primitive objects or if you don't know about them, you could certainly click on the animation on the screen that will lead you to the tutorial or you could go to the description. And if you know about primitive objects, you are well to go ahead. So let us see what we are going to build today. We are going to build a set of chairs and tables that looks somewhat like this. Let me give you a quick render view of this. This is what it looks like. You know we are going to learn how to give it texture and how to build, how to do the modeling, the lighting effects and the shadow and everything else. So we are going to start with the seat of the chair and that seat of the chair looks somewhat like this. You know, at the bottom you'll have something that is attached to the seat of the chair so that it can hold the legs of the chair. So let's start building this. Now for building the seat of the chair, I'm going to insert a cylinder and then I'm going to go to my object, decrease the height and then go to my caps and activate the fillet. Then I'm going to increase the number of my fillet segments and decrease the radius of fillet to something like 4. And then get back to my object and increase the radius of the chair. And I guess the height must be something like 35 instead of 30 or maybe 40. And then increase the radius, radius of the chair. And you know this it's actually kind of bugging me so I'm going to increase the radius of my cap I mean my fillet still so that I'm satisfied yeah this much this much I mean this must be fine and then let's go ahead and build the base of the chair for that we're going to insert one more cylinder and do the same thing what we did to make the chair cross decrease the height by going to the object something like 50 shall do no in fact even less like 30 and then decrease the radius to 40 and drag it down I made the radius 35 yeah this is fine and then of course go to caps and activate the fillet Increase the segments, decrease the radius to something like 4. And there we go, just like increase the uh, x component, I mean the y component of this, in this manner. And yeah, you see, we've made a chair. Let's go ahead and build the legs of it, which looks something like this. The legs of the chair would look something like this. So let's go and build this. Now first let me select both the cylinder and cylinder 1 and click on Alt G and make it as the chair seat. Now I'm going to go to my cylinder and then go to my objects decrease the radius and increase the height to 300 and click on the cylinder and click on shift on your keyboard and add a bend tool now I go ahead and decrease the size of the bend since I want to uh, just like decrease I mean I want to bend my cylinder only from the top so before I decrease the size, I just want to show you something that if I activate the strength of it, it would bend my cylinder, but not in the way that I want. You see, I want to bend it in this in this part that you can see the bluish color part. I want to bend it in that way. So for that, let me make the strength back to zero. Go to my cylinder and increase the height segment to something like uh, 300. Or you know you can make it like even 600, 900, 100, 200 but I'm making 300 
and then of course I'm if I increase the strain, I'll find that the my cylinder is bending in the path of the bend too. So let me make the strain back to zero degrees and then decrease the height of the bend and then get my bend to the top I'll decrease it even more, make it like 40 without thinking anything and then get it up you know what I think the cylinder is too big 300, you know it's side wing 300 uh, it's too much, let's make it 250 and then get back to your bend tool, get it down and then increase the strength of your bend to 90 degrees since you want to bend your leg by 90 degrees okay let's hide the chair seat now you see our, our stand is ready but then we also need to add a base to a stand for that I'll go to my primitive objects and then add a cone I'll see what is the radius of my cylinder that is 6 and then get to my cone make the top radius 6 and the bottom radius like 10 and the height also 10 and then I'll simply drag it down uh, this must be fine and make sure whenever you are adjusting your cone and the cylinder there must be no gap between the cylinder and the cone, I mean the chair seat and the cone or else your model would look a bit, bit ugly. Now I'll just zoom out. You know for now I'm deactivating my grid since it's kind of annoying me. So let's go ahead and deactivate it. And then back to the work. Our cylinder stand is made. Zoom out. And then select this. Click on all G to make it one single object. Rename this as chair stand. Get a chair seat, I mean activate a chair seat. Select a chair stand and drag it down. Now you see all you have to do is adjust a chair stand according to the this according to the according to the base of the chair that will hold the stand. So for that I go to my all the four views, go to my front view. I zoom in, then drag my, still, I mean this, uh, I drag my chair stand down, zoom out, and drag it to the side. Then I also go to my top view and see if everything is fine. Yeah, everything is fine. So we are good to go. I go to my perspective now. Then I click on my chair stand. I click on Ctrl C and then Ctrl V to get a duplicate of my chair stand. So that would be named as chair stand 1. And go to its coordinates and change the x axis, the negative x axis to the positive x axis. And rotate your chair stand by 180 degrees. And then here we go, we've got a second chair stand attached to it. Now we select both these chair stands. Click on Alt G so that it becomes one single object. Then we click on Control C. I mean, we copy the null. Then Control V. Go to our coordinates of null one, that is a duplicate of a original null, and rotate it by 90 degrees. In this way, we get a seat, a seat that is completely made. You see. So this was on how to make the seat. Let's go ahead and make the table. So for making the table, I mean my table, uh, first I'll make the table top and it would look something like this. Green in color, with the hole in center so that it can hold the table stand and of course bend. I'm pretty sure you know how to make this because you see it's the same way that I've made my chairs top, this top. So let's get back to our workspace. Select the entire, all the objects, click on Alt G and name it as Chair 1. Now we hide our Chair 1 for now. 
go to our primitive objects and click on a tube uh, if you remember I had shown you that in the table we need a hole this hole in the center so that it can hold the table stand for that we need to we need to get a a tube which has a hole in center and of course we'll decrease the inner radius to something like 10 and the outer radius to something like 300 increase the rotation segments to like 100 the height will be something like 40 maybe or maybe even less 30 and then activate the fillet increase the number of segments and decrease the number of, uh, decrease the radius to 5 or maybe 9 yeah, and 8 yeah, it, it looks pretty cool. And then here we are with the table top. You see that was pretty fast. And then we go to our, now we make the table stand. So for that we go to our primitive objects and click on cylinder. So the cylinder comes in. Now you see your table tops inner radius is 10 centimeters. That means the cylinder's radius also has to be a bit less than 10. So let it be 9.5. 5 or maybe 9 let it be just 9 why does it has to be less because the rotation has occupied 1 cm radius I mean your fillet when you activate it it occupied 1 cm from inside now just increase the height of this by going to your objects and make the height to be like 400 or um, it might also or maybe 450 and then drag it down Go to your view, your front view, and then adjust your table stand according to the height of the table. Then we select the cylinder and add a bend tool. Go to a cylinder, of course, increase the height segments to like 600, and then go to a bend tool. And if you remember, the, in the components of a table and chair, the table stand is bent from down. It's bent from down so that it can hold the table. And you see it's bent from down in this manner. So we get back to our untitled one, our workspace. Decrease the size of our bent tool to maybe something like 100. Then drag it down and then increase the strength to 120 degrees or you know you can adjust it but oops let's bend from down so control Z get your coordinates and increase the pitch by 180 degrees so that you know your entire bend tool rotates and then whatever strength you're applying it will start applying from the bottom and then make the string to be 120 degrees or something like that as per your wish now simply click on cylinder click on control C then control V and again a control V so that you can create two duplicates of your initial stand now go to your cylinder 1 that is your table stand 2 and rotate this by 120 degrees go to your cylinder 2 and rotate this by 240 degrees and then select the tube cylinder cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 click on all G and rename this as table and there you go you've got your chair and you've also got your table the chair is here uh, you know the chair seems to be too tiny so we can click on the scale and then scale our chair in this way Oh well, uh, when I'm adjusting my uh, chair, it's adjusting in a bit odd way, so I'm going to go to my table and adjust this. Okay, let it be. It's, uh, nothing is adjusting properly, so let it be. Anyways, I go to my chair, then I add in... Okay, wait. Uh -oh. I click on chair, I copy the chair three times, so that I've got four chairs. Then I add a floor drag the floor down 
and then click on my chair one uh, hold on the chair is deviated a bit from its original size so let's get back the original size of the chair which is this and then select this chair the move tool of the chair click on chair then drag it down and this manner then get your top view to see if everything is fine yeah I think it's fine now select your chair 1.3 rename this to 1 and then control C then control V control V and yeah okay wait one one time control V is enough and then change your negative y axis to the positive y axis okay wait no change your positive x axis to negative x axis so that you get a chair on the other side of the table now select a chair 1 and chair 1.1 click on all g to make it one single object then click on control c and then control v to create a copy of this and then change your then go to your null null one and then change your I mean rotate your chair I mean your null one by 90 degrees so that you get all the chairs and here we go our 3d model is ready now I've divided this tutorial into two parts the first part is about the 3d modeling whereas the other part is about texturing what does texturing involves? It's a good question. It involves the coloring. You know, like give me, uh, let me give you a quick render view. So the texturing involves how do you shade? I mean, how do you add the shadows? And how do you add the lighting effects? And then all these coloring and other stuff. So if you followed this tutorial, understood it well and good, then you can click on the annotation on the screen that says texturing this 3D model and if the link does not work the animation link you could go to the description and click on the link that is under texturing the 3d model thank you for watching this tutorial please do watch the second part